Okay, here's a look at Bisu before her bath, and this is her brushed out. So I'm trying to show her coat. It's um, a little flat, limp. You can tell she's dirty. We haven't washed her face or anything this morning since we're doing that in her bath. So this is a look at the before. All right, so the shampoo's been on her for a while. And again, spectrum pen. Ah, so I did dilute it into her bottle here. So it's just foam. So I'm now I'm gonna rinse her, and we're gonna rinse instead of conditioner. We're gonna use thick and thicker because it's meant to be used as in place of a conditioner. So I'm just gonna run this over her to give her that height that I'm looking for, that volume and then I will proceed with the hydro tank. this on the ends because I am using the hydro pack. I'm just working at it on the roots here close to her skin to give her that height. And when I called Chris Christensen, they told me that that is um, thick and thicker is meant to use in place of the um, conditioner. So I'm not going to condition her with spectrum. All right, now I'm going to rinse her and come back with the hydro pack. Okay, so this is rinsed out from the Thick and Thicker, which is meant to be used as a conditioner. So I only put it on the top so she can have that volume. So the Hydro Pack is next. So what they recommend is after I shampoo, then they're asking to towel dry. I'm not going to towel dry her and then put her back in here, so I'm going to just squeeze out the excess hair because it, they're saying to leave the coat moist and then apply mid shaft to the ends as needed and then allow to sit for five minutes. So let me finish squeezing her out, getting some of that excess water off of her. really um, I thought it was gonna be stiff but it's not it's super smooth and and easy to get a hold of a little bit so I'm just gonna grab this much because I have no idea if this is gonna be overdoing it or not I'll start on this side so you can see better so I'm gonna apply it here to where her coat kind of starts away from her body and work it in and go all the way down to the ends here I have to leave this on for five minutes. So poor B, she's gonna be cold. Some babies are gonna be cold. You're just sitting here all cold. I am gonna run it down her paws too. It does have a powdery smell. It's not too bad. It almost smells like something you'd use on a baby. Like I can't pinpoint it. It's not something um, specific, but it just has a light powdery smell. that spot that I don't like on her chin. Let's see me. Cuz 
because that's the worst spot. Let me see. to spread it underneath her as well since I didn't get any sort of conditioner down there yet. I wish I could turn the camera around to show you guys but Paris is sitting right outside the tub and she's just looking up at us almost proud of herself that she doesn't have to go through this stuff. But you're such a good sport. You don't, you don't fuss and complain. Turn around. So, mommy, get your back side. Just doing this to kind of help keep her warm and to continue to spread the hydro pack over her coat. I can't really feel where it is. Um, most conditioners are slippery and have that soapy feel. This I have no idea how much of it I applied. I, you can't tell. It feels like her coat is wet with water. So in that sense I kind of like that. Maybe it's being absorbed into her, her coat like it needs to. Yeah. 
has it been five minutes? I have no idea. I completely forgot the timer. I'm going to go ahead and rinse her off now. I think that's good enough. Hopefully we were close to five minutes or, you know, at least a little over it if I went long. So I'm going to cover this up so it doesn't get full of water. So I didn't even use that much of it. And this was my first time using it. Okay, we'll be back after the rinsing. Just want to share that I am going to use this coat therapy on her beard and her mustache area because I think I almost prefer this better than the precious drops. So I will be applying this just right there and then I will dry. Oops, a little bit too much came out. I'll still apply that. What do we think? Where are you? Sit down so mommy can get your hair. Do we love it or what? It's kind of hard to tell on camera, I think. When you see her in person, it's way different. She is super duper fluffy right now. Um, of course, I think anytime you blow dry a uh, coat or hair, it's going to fluff up naturally. So the smell... I'm so in love with you guys. Y'all know how I am with my scents on the shampoos and everything. She smells so clean. It's not overpowering. The um, powdery scent of the Hydro Pack was not overpowering. Um, I did apply some of Show Premium's coat, um, coat therapy, the leave-in conditioner, strictly onto, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera, strictly onto her mustache and her beard. Now, this is damp. I never put a blow dryer on her face. I wish I could. I don't know if that's good, bad, or whatever. But I let her air dry there. So she's still a little bit damp. But y'all saw that I applied some of that Hydro Pack right here. That's her worst spot. That's her roughest spot there. And then I went ahead and applied some of the Show Premium all over this area. So I don't know just yet um, until this dries what it's going to do. So right now her coat is super soft, super thick, and she has a lot of volume at the top, which is what I wanted. Her ends are not frayed. It, it's very soft and wispy, like cottony. Bisu, that is not something I'd use to describe her coat before using this stuff. So um, what I normally do, even though I blow dry and I use this pin brush when I blow dry them, I like to sit them up here and I pass the wooden pin brush for B just to make sure I have out all the knots and um, she's detangled. So I'm going to do that now off camera 
and we'll be back after we're done All brushing. Right. So I'm done brushing her and I really am impressed so far with how smoothly this comb is running through. Um, I don't know if that's due to the Hydro Pack or uh, Show Premium or a combination. So that I am super impressed with. Again, it's still a little bit damp, but um, I've seen, I still see some improvement here. Now the word that keeps running through my mind as I brush her and she's dry with the hair dryer is wispy. Bisu's coat never was wispy. Like it looks light and fluffy and, and just, do you see what I'm saying? Like I hope that's picking up on camera. I don't really know if it is or not. It almost is so wispy that it makes her look like she has frizzy hair, which is something that the Hydro Pack is supposed to not do. It's supposed to um, give a sleek um, sealing look and conditioned and shine a little bit. I'm not too concerned about shine. I can always, um, I know, do oils and coconut oil or fish oil and things to get her to have her coat shiny, so I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just worried about how the ends look. Is it healthy and and all of that. So right now, um, that's just sort of my first impressions with it. I'm happy with the results so far about using it in the bathtub with her. Um, I like the way it feels, like the way it smelled, like the way it rinsed off. And as I was brushing her, hardly any knots at all as I was brushing her out. So I was very happy about that. And she's still damp a closer to her face, like right here she is. So this is her after. We shall see, and I'll be keeping you guys up to date with that on how she looks. So for now, yes, I do like it, and I'll keep you updated.